Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome back to Meets of Children. Dear SSLC students, we are discussing about Social Science English Medium 10th Standard Chapter Wise Notes. In the previous videos, we have already discussed about that the four chapters of history notes and in this video we are going to get the information about chapter number fifth social and religious reform movements so let's come to the fifth chapter social and religious reform movements first main fill in the blanks among that first one the 19th century is called the period of renaissance raja ram mohan rai started the newspaper called Samvada Kaumudi. The founder of Prarthana Samaj was Dash Atmarama Panduranga. Fourth one, Dash propagated that freedom was the basic necessity of every individual. Answer, Jyoti Bhapale. Fifth one, Swami Vivekananda's Guru was Dash. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa was the Guru of Swami Vivekananda. So let's move on to second main. Discuss the following in groups and write the answer. So among that first question, what are the preachings of Brahmo Samaj? Answer, Brahmo Samaj attempted to bring in reforms in the traditions and customs in Hindu religion. It adopted idol worship and polytheism and encouraged monotheism. It condemned performance of yagas and rituals and opposed the priestly class. Since English education exposed Indians to Western political thought, it enabled the development of nationalism among Indians. So let's move on to the next question. Analyze the call of Dayananda Saraswati to return to the Vedas. Arya Samaj was established by Dayananda Saraswati. He travelled throughout the country giving lecturers and emphasized that the Vedas were the source of truth and knowledge. In this context, he advised people to back to Vedas. Third question, explain the reforms propagated by Satya Shodhat Samaj. Satya Shodhat Samaj was established by Jyoti Bhapule. He believed that freedom was the basic necessity of every individual and that no individual could express his ideas if he did not have freedom. Satya Shodak Samaj urged for prohibition of liquor. It vehemently opposed gender inequality, denial of human rights, exploitation of people and practice of untouchability. So next question. Fourth one, analyze the objectives of the Aligarh movement. The Aligarh movement aimed at promoting harmony of English and Western ideas through transformation of the Muslims in their political, social, educational, religious and philosophical beliefs. The leadership of this movement was borne by Sir Syed Ahmad Khan with an intention to provide modern education to the Muslims community, he started the Anglo-Oriental College. Later on, this college was renamed Aligarh Muslim University. Its main objective was to provide religious education along with Western education and to create a modern society through Western education. He supported the female literacy and condemned polygamy and ideas against widow's marriage. Fifth question, explain the vision of a Ramakrishna mission. Swami Vivekananda established Ramakrishna mission in order to propagate the ideals of his teacher Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. The main objective of this organization was to spread the message of equality of all religions and to put that into practice. Ramakrishna Ashram has many branches all over the world. The mingling of ancient, modern and western thinkers 
can be seen here. So next the sixth question. Swami Vivekananda was a great inspiration to the youth explain. Swami Vivekananda was a revolutionary monk who opened the eyes of Indians to the importance of loving life. He stressed the significance of the individual, his presence and ability. He maintained that apart from prayer and practice of yoga, social service was also necessary for achievement of salvation, nothing but moksha. Ramakrishna mission is continuing to nurture culture through education and social service. Vivekananda emphasized that nation and religions were the two faces of a coin. In 1893, at the Chicago Conference of World Religions, Swami Vivekananda upheld the greatness of India by advocating tolerance of all religions and maintaining that all religions were true. In this manner, he introduced Indian culture to the world. He was a role model to the youth. Next, seventh one, question number seven. Which are the reforms brought about by Anibesant? Anibesant, an Irish lady, started the activities of Theosophical Society in India and gave it new vitality. She aroused pride in Indian culture through her lecturers. She attempted to establish equality, universal brotherhood and harmony in society. Anibesant gave her full support to the freedom struggle. She started a newspaper called New India. In 1916, she started Home Rule Movement. She was the president of the Congress session in 1970. She contributed immensely to Indian philosophy and independence struggle. Okay, that's it from the lesson 5th social and religious reform movements. I hope you have understood the concepts of chapter wise notes from this lesson. In case of if you have any doubts related to this lesson, please comment in the comment box. I will try to solve your doubts. And I will come back with the next video. Until keep watching my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you in the next session. Bye-bye. Take care.